Hey guys, Devin Sam 5 here, bringing you an another video. So this is going to be the second and the final video uh, tied to this character. Um, also, this is going to be basically the build guide in the second section. First section is going to be me showing off uh, killing Cirrus. Um, this is the best build that I have made uh, in this league current, uh, so ritual league. And it's an excellent build just for killing bosses, uh, for clearing maps, uh, completing maven encounters, maven missions, uh, whatever you throw at it, this build is gonna be able to do it. As long as you, well, more or less min-max it. Well, not min-max it, it's not even that expensive to min-max, because you're using a unique flat, uh, unique staff, you're using a unique armor, I mean, it's something that uh, has an upper tier, you know, you, you, uh, you don't need to invest in some crazy rare to get this build up and running. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna leave you with the series video and after that I'm gonna I'll explain basically how the build works and what you should build and what you should get. So, see you then.
I'm ready and not before. Okay guys, so onto my character, just so you can uh, see uh, how you need to build it and what you need to do. So you s saw how it performs, you basically cast Armageddon Brand, Firestorm and apply Wave of Conviction and that's basically that. You flame dash around, um, Flesh and Stone applies Blind uh, on enemies that are nearby and everything else is going to be taken care of by your block chance. It has a lot of block chance, when you activate your Rumi it's even more. Uh, it has quite a bit of chaos resistance because of presence of Chiyula. Um We need this because this is an energy shield build. And of course, with as is with any energy shield build, you need some form of stun immunity. And this is basically the solution. Um, we are an elementalist. So you're probably wondering how I got rid of the uh, freeze problems. Because when you're energy shield, you're also free, uh, getting frozen quite a bit. But we solve this with the uh, elements or nodes where we utilize four golems basically to become ailment immune and then you don't need uh, the ailment immunity on your utility flasks you're basically going to be immune to ailments all the time so stun immunity solved uh, freezing solved and not only that we're utilizing four golems so flame golem um, chaos golem stone golem and lightning golem for all of these useful buffs stone golem for regeneration we're using zealot self this is going to give us uh, regeneration for the energy shield uh, we're using lightning golem for cast speed fire golem for uh, fire damage and chaos golem for that extra additional physical damage reduction um, all of these buffs are further amplified from the golems uh, by these three nodes so golem commander and of course by your ascendancy so all of the buffs that your golems are giving you are technically doubled because all of these buffs just basically double the uh, effects of your golems which is amazing not only are you ailment immune, but uh, they give you amazing buffs. Okay, uh, <clears throat> onto the gear. Uh, so, I'm using Martyr of Innocence. So, this is just an excellent staff that uses the new modifier Battle Mage. Basically, all of the physical damage and elemental damage that the staff has applies to spells as well. Um, which means we're going to be dealing quite a bit of fire damage. But the only, diff uh, the only problem basically is that it's also applying the uh, physical damage as well. So, this is the only downside of this build. Um, it cannot do any form of reflect. Uh, it cannot do physical reflect or elemental reflect. But everything else is a stomp. As you saw, I killed uh, Uber Elder Maven with no problems. I killed Cirrus Awakening 8. I did all of the uh, 10 boss Maven encounters with this build. Uh, it's really just uh, amazing for map clear. It has an amazing AoE. You don't die at all. Um, and just an overall uh, joy to play. Um, one of the better builds I've made, honestly. Uh, but yeah, so in my Martyr of Innocence, uh, we're using two six links, obviously, one for Firestorm and one for Armageddon Brand. We're using Anomalous Firesto Firestorm because we want to be doing as much damage as possible with the initial big meteors. So you just press your Firestorm skill, and because of Unleash, it's going to unleash four of the big meteors immediately and just decimate anything in its path. It's going to be excellent for map bosses, but also for endgame bosses like Cyrus and other stuff. Okay. So the links for the Armageddon brand are Control Destruction, Immolate, Combustion, Inspiration, and Anomalous Swift brand. 
uh, for the anomalous swift friend you don't honestly need to use this one uh, you can use uh, something that's just going to give you flat out damage which is going to in turn make your um, brands last longer you might opt for this playstyle be because as you can see if I cast my brands they're going to disappear after three seconds uh, if this is too <coughs> if this is too quick for you then you can of course just go for something that's going to make them last much longer and you're going to have a an easier time playing because you're just going to cast them and then you can just play around with your firestorm and bombard the boss as you see, see fit. Um, this playstyle though is going to net you a bit more DPS that I'm using so it's up to you uh, which one you want to utilize. But yeah, so let's go for firestorm, so in my chevrons, uh, anomalous firestorm uh, just because of that extra damage for the initial meteors, uh, unleash of course, control destruction, concentrated effect, inspiration and elemental focus. We're using inspiration on both of these because we need to lower the cost of both of these spells and you will want to use one of the rings to have non chilling skills have minus mana cost. Uh, this means we don't need to use a mana flask and it's just going to be a joy to play with. Um, you don't need a mana flask, you can just keep casting them. You're basically never going to run out of mana. Um, also, uh, as you can see, both rings are unset rings. Uh, you need both unset rings because this uh, build actually uh, lacks sl um, skill slots a little bit. So you need to utilize both of these sockets just so you can place your golem and way of conviction somewhere. Um, okay, let's go for the uh, helmet. So the Prophet Crown, Crown of the Inward Eye, excellent helmet. It gives you Transfiguration of Mind, which means uh, per the percentage of your energy shield is going to go into your damage as well. It also gives you 20% uh, global energy shield, it gives some flat energy shield and if you can find a useful enchant like I did, something for Armageddon brand or Firestorm, it's going to be excellent. Uh, so I think this is the best in slot for this build. Prince of Chill I already mentioned, we're allocating Charisma, which is uh, mana reservation, reduced mana reservation. Uh, you need this so you can utilize all of your auras um, along with uh, let's find it, Enlighten. So your Enlighten is going to go into Anger, Flesh and Stone, and Zealotry. So this is going to reserve your mana, and what is going to reserve your life is going to be Herald of Ash and Discipline. You need to reserve your life because you want to proc Pain Attunement. Since we are reserving our life, we are considered low life, which means we're going to be getting 30% more spell damage as well. Not only are we getting two auras, but we're getting 30% more spell damage as well. Um, and yeah, Discipline should be Vault Discipline, just because uh, you want to have that uh, Energy Shield Health Potion. Uh, energy Shield Potion, not Health Potion. Energy Shield Potion that you can use here and there in boss fights or during mapping. It's pretty useful. Um, and yeah, Chevrons of course, because we must ensure that Chaos Damage cannot bypass our Energy Shield. Uh, so you need this one. Uh, the Globes need to be Doidry's Malevolence, because you want to be able to generate all of these seals as fast as quick as possible so as you can see as soon as I cast them they're up to four and then I can cast again and up to four I can cast again and this is because of these gloves they give you that seal frequency and just give you quite a bit of spell damage as well so a lot of spell damage chaos damage it reduces some cast speed but it doesn't matter your golem lightning golem is going to offset that basically with no problems um, the, the belt is basically just a decent rare, a lot of energy shield, a lot of resistances, even life is good because your um, presence of Chiyula converts that life into energy shield, so you can look for life as well. Uh, some strength because you're gonna need some strength as well. Uh, the other ring is Assassin's Mark, also unset ring of course, Assassin's Mark just so we can get that extra damage on bosses. Um, yeah, this is the best curse option for us definitely, and let's see... If I forgot something, yeah, I think that basically covers all of it. Flame Dash and Arcane Surge is basically here, and the rest of the golems are here as well. And that's that. So you have your four golems um, placed somewhere, Arcane Surge with Flame Dash, so it needs to be level 6 Arcane Surge and level 20 Flame Dash, so every time you Flame Dash, it's going to proc that Arcane Surge. So uh, it seems that my... oh yeah. Uh, you also need to take into consideration your, um, what do you call it, non-challenge skills have minus 9 to mana cost. This is also going to apply to Flame Dash. 
So Arcane Surge would most likely have to be on level 1 if you want to get Arcane Surge every time you point dash. As you can see it takes me 2 times to get the Arcane Surge. You can leave it like this or you can just um, make an Arcane Surge level 1 and then it's going to proc every time you point dash. And this is going to give you that mana regeneration that you need and some extra spell damage. The Flasks, room is concoction for defenses. Um, this Cinder Solo earned for damage, this is just quite a bit of damage. Quartz Flask, uh, this is also for survivability, some dodge chance, um, immunity to bleeding. Uh, you don't need immunity to freeze, uh, you can use anything here, honestly. You ma might not need, co you could just use something like of Adrenaline, so you can run even faster. Um, I don't know why I have removed freeze. Uh, we're immune to ailments, so yeah. And of course immunity to curses. Uh, on a diamond flask, because diamond flask is much needed, since this is a crit based build. Um, and yeah, the, this is basically everything, uh, I covered everything, I'm using a watcher's eye, a nice watcher's eye here, that gives me a buff to my discipline and anger, we're using anger and discipline, uh, why I went with this one is because it's really cheap, and it also gives me that block chance that we're trying to stack, so you can get this for fairly cheap. I think I got for something like 3 to 4 exalted orbs. So you just get a positive effect for your uh, anger aura and then you get the block spell damage from for the discipline. It's not going to cost much. And it's an excellent addition to the build. Everything else I basically explained. We're just going for a lot of block chance. So st stave block, stave block, um, additional um, brand so we can uh, apply two brands. Zeal of Soul for mana region, uh, for energy shield region, and just a lot of critical strikes overall. Uh, this is some mana re reservation, and of course, pain attunement, and of course, the golden bus. And yeah, um, that's that. The the other jewels. So this one is of course energy from within, so it converts uh, these nodes into energy shield nodes, and this one is just a basic rare jewel, so just a lot of spell damage multiplier nothing too special uh, the boots oh yeah I forgot to mention the boots they also give block chance so the watchers eye gives us block chance uh, rainbow thread boots gives us block chance the staff gives us block chance and there's a lot of block chance that we took on the thing and this is why this build is so so thank you and yeah that's basically that I hope you guys like this I hope you learned something I hope you like the build and if you want like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys next Monday Yep.